for example, let's make this concrete and say, if people say we want to, which I don't understand and I would never do, someone says that he, we w let's take a break. Me, that's to me. <laughs> but they're like, bye, deuces. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, you know, um, if, for example, that's what they had said, let's take a break. They should also tell, tell whether they, when they're taking the break, somebody can find their sexual needs met out there. Okay. They should also tell. Because I also don't understand, your heart does not know how to play games. You can't tell your heart we are breaking only for a period. So will I continue holding you or release you? Yeah. You know, some things you say don't make sense. Yeah. Especially if in a relationship you keep <laughs> taking break, can you stop that game? To <laughs> That is not, yes. Yeah. There's no point. Your emotions can't play games. Let's detach for a while. We'll retouch. What is that? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. And even the fact that if, if that's sort of the attitude you go into your relationship with, you create exit points. And so what happens then? Are you going to be saying, let's take a break in marriage too? Like, come That's on. a question. Because remember, d dating is supposed to be preparing you for that longer term journey. And remember we said commitment is going in for the worst, for the good, yes. for everything. We are there. As long as for we are alive, for we are in it. For Till as long death. as we are alive, we are in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's no such thing as taking a break. Well... Shiko says, now atazama nikiwa madhari. Aki, my husband cheated on me and what I felt for him is no more. I even avoid him in so many ways because when I see him, mimi huona ugonjwa and many more. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um, Edwin from Riruta says, hey Joyce, I don't think a relationship can recover after cheating because there's lack of trust and trust is the mother of the relationship. So if you keep on doubting the partner, what the partner is doing the right thing I guess if the partner is doing the right thing at the right time. Um, someone here says, loyalty is a choice and there's no excuse to cheating. I actually hate it that society has justified cheating in men at because of hormones. <laughs> but if someone cheats on me, I will leave. Uh, yes, but I will try to find out why. Eh. <laughs> Someone here says, good morning, Joyce. Uh, say hi to Benjamin. Hi. Men cheat for sex and women cheat for love. When the man cheats, things will be normal after. But when a woman cheats, the relationship will break. Well, that's a very loaded station uh, statement. What do you think about that? When a man cheats, things will be back to normal. But when a, a woman cheats, the relationship breaks. And that's Laura Cheshari from Garden City Mall. Thank you for that question. I think there's something here she's alluding to, which is, again, one of these societal things that we hear. That somehow men are able to find their graces back in the relationship that they were originally supposed to be in. But when a woman cheats, I mean, at a, let me use English, she will be how in english mm -hmm. like she exposed. will just be exposed exactly she'll be exposed all over the place you know she'll now be degraded so i think she's pointing to a difference of standard as far as how cheating is 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 treated between men and women you see even polygamy is more permitted for men the bigamy we don't even right. talk about it yeah few people know the word bigamy yeah. <laughs> we just know polygamy mm. and, and, and we are saying it's an imbalance in society and it is one that says that uh, it, allowing men because society has been patriarchal for long the men have been writing the rules <laughs> it's men who have been writing the rules so they give themselves more room to maneuver mm. and, and even when you write when you read the bible old testament it was the men who had many wives you don't have a woman who had many husbands so sometimes that, that same thing of straying and men straying and even some women will tell you if he even if he has another woman but he, as long as he comes home to you he is still yours just tolerated by the way if you have such friends in your life like you need to just put them in a different whatsapp group <laughs> the ones that you don't talk to frequently. that's true that is so toxic it's you know, not and it's not okay and i want to ask uh, ladies to set a standard for them you know sometimes absolutely. a man will behave according to what do you require him absolutely to do for him yeah. to remain in your life. Yeah. And I think ladies also, we need to get to a point where we value ourselves first. Too many of us are out here waiting for someone else to come and validate us, which is why you accept so much nonsense. And he will subscribe how he can treat you. He's exactly. No, he will describe and set the rules. Yeah. It's you to set the standard. Men actually honor a woman who is confident and has her marks and her boundaries. Paradoxically, you become more attractive. Mm -hmm. You just become more attractive when you look like your standards are up here. Yeah. And the man will measure up yeah. when he knows that's your standard. So I think we are saying, let the lady decide herself, this is what I am worth, this is what I will take. A person who does not value you cannot love you. Yeah. They cannot love you if they don't. By the time a person reaches a point of disrespecting you outrightly, taking you through such pain deliberately, yeah, you shouldn't done. take it. 
it's done yeah, yeah. absolutely absolutely um someone here is saying hey joyce is flirting cheating my husband flirts with every lady especially kwa whatsapp yake i consider flirting as cheating that's mbia from eldoret we can have emotional infidelity, mm -hmm. even in those sexual infidelity. Sometimes people say that's even worse than, some ladies say it's even worse than physical. We say it's so hurtful yeah. that it should not be minimized. I want to ask that lady to address that in yeah. the context of her relationship with him. Because she considers, and the fact that you've said you consider it as cheating. Yeah, you yeah. should go ahead and address it. Because I'm, I also wonder, if they keep talking those things, how do you know how far they go when they meet physically? Mm -hmm. Sometimes the emotional cheating is what leads to physical cheating, you know, mm -hmm. because you don't know where they stopped. So it's about setting the boundaries. Are not, are not, I think it goes on because she condones it. Wow. It is going on because she's condoning it. Where? Don't let your man think there's nothing you can do. Never let anybody think now they possess you. Mm. Never let anybody think they are your God, that you worship the ground they walk on. Mm. No. Mm. By the age, why would you worship God and also worship a person? Yeah. Kind What's the point? You need to have this kind of standard saying, I bow before God. But before people, we have reciprocity. I expect mm -hmm. something as I give you something. Right. We have a mutual understanding. Yeah. 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 Um, someone here says, cheating, Apana, that thing really hurts. It lowers one's self-esteem. You keep asking yourself what you did wrong. A man who respects you would never think of that. If he should make you the lady, or he should make you the lady he admires out there. And they say cheating is a no. That's Tina from Nakuru. Um, another says, I once dated this guy. We dated for years. So one day he goes abroad and here I am waiting for him. He got someone pregnant and then he sweet talked to me and I forgave him. Then again, he got the same lady pregnant. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. And I was like, okay, what is not happening? When I found out, he went as far as telling me, <laughs> Hey, mother, until we had a situation. Him and the lady is making pregnant. His no, him and the girlfriend now have a situation. As in, you're being confronted. Why have you been cheating twice now? You've made somebody else pregnant. And your response is, actually, you and me, boo, we got a situation. What? Take him at his word. Are you bound at the hip? <laughs> Stop tolerating this drama. Oh, it won't stop. But there's something I need to ask you about this. This question is, has brought to light. The case of cheating, you know, I think, and, and I don't want to say it's easier, but um, maybe there's more progress or faster progress you could make forgiving someone who's cheated when there are no other sort of physical reminders of the cheating. But in the case where the person has stepped out of the relationship and now there's a child you're right you're right a constant reminder and a responsibility of the person's infidelity lack of respect and now your income together part of it probably has to go and to a baby mama child. somewhere in the periphery every baby time mama, yes how then do you deal with that how do you how does the relationship clearly not go back to normal but how does it recover when there are these physical reminders Every single day. I think the man went, the person who went out, now it's the man because he's making a person pregnant. If he went out and got another lady pregnant and he really means to be with you, you're supposed to set conditions for him. How you want that child to be handled. Sometimes the lady takes over say, facilitating to, to remove contact between this guy and the baby mama. You see this one made, made the baby mama pregnant again. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it was in the excuse I'm going to see my child. Then he went, he went and made a second child. And I want people to stop taking pregnancy so easy as if it is, you can make a lady pregnant by a long handshake. These are, <laughs> these are, these are whole process by the time you make a person pregnant. <laughs> and when people talk of pregnant, I also ask them, uh, did you think of HIV? Did you think of STDs? Right. Uh, did you think of your health? Yeah. You know, this is not a simple thing. And so, the other person's health too, because you go back to that person and you know, it's irresponsible. That's the question. Yeah. So I think sometimes it's, 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 it's true. And uh, when a child is involved, I want to ask ladies, if you're going to live here and be bitter for the next 30, 40 years, you better consider. If you know there's a child and you're wondering whether you can withstand this, God does not command you to reconcile. He just commands you to forgive. Mm. If you know you're going to be continually bitter, no need to sacrifice your life and your happiness to yeah. stay in a relationship where you're always bitter, paranoid, and you're not, you're not able to move on. Okay. 
someone advised me never to use denying my husband sex as a weapon when I'm angry. From her experience, she came to realize that her husband ended up cheating with a lady in the same plot. They are still together. She forgave him. He is a good father and certainly i think that that maybe is a topic for a different day um but there are things that people do in relationships that are <laughs> you think you are to you not you're, you're looking macho but you're really just breaking down your, your relationship brick by brick um um so someone else here is also saying i'm married and my husband cheated on me during our storm phase where we had separated when he kicked me out when i was pregnant <laughs> I feel, anyway and after healing from past hurt, we want to get back together, but he justifies his actions that I was not there. Eh? And he's a Christian and claims I cheated, but has no proof. And this is making me fear to even go back to him. What should I do? Okay. Uh, I may not have fully understood all of this, but there's a lot of accusations, basically. And this person and is not apologetic. I want to ask the lady, please, your love. Your love in a romantic relationship should not be unconditional. It should be reciprocal. There should be reciprocation. The person should be loving you back and apologizing. Mm. So I want to ask this lady to check what is inside of her that keeps pumping love, even when it's not being appreciated. Mm. What is she arguing for if the person is acting like they don't need you? Mm -hmm. you? You should avoid fighting so much to be in people's life if they seem to be doing okay without you. You should need to respect yourself well enough to say, I need to see whether you need me. And, and sometimes we need to tell people that you can be happy without that abusive person. Mm. They need to show you that they have come down, they have apologized, and they're willing to mend. They're willing to help you heal. You need to set standards to forgive people. If you mm. forgive people on charity, for free, for, they will keep repeating it because there was no cost to it. Yeah. 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 Wow. Finally, Benjamin, as we wrap up here, someone is saying, I'm married for two years. I have one kid. There was a time my husband was talking to a certain lady. I saw the messages. When I asked him, he told me she's just a friend and they were just flirting. Okay, at least he was honest. <laughs> but since that day, he promised not to talk to that lady anymore. I've done my research and found out that indeed they don't talk, but I'm now very insecure. I usually feel bad when he talks with any lady. And again, this is part of the consequence yeah. of, you know, cheating. Um, so very quickly, because I know I need to wrap up, but um, how then to deal and recover from this relationship here, as, especially from the end of the person who has done the cheating? Okay, so he's stopped at least talking to the other person what would you advise should be the next step for this couple? Reassure the lady and give, give it time. Let it be reassurance and doing those things that make her know that she's enough. When cheating happens, when violation of trust happens, uh, ladies tend to blame it on some insufficiency in them. Mm. While the men tend to think it's because they are not sexually enough. Mm. And they usually compartmentalize it. But ladies they accuse themselves. Right. So if it's the lady who has been hurt, I want to ask the guy to win her trust back by assuring her that she's enough, that it was a mistake, that it is not the, anything to do with her, okay. and that over time you can regain her. But her paranoid behavior is no more after violation of trust. Sure, yeah. sure. Your handles, please, Benjamin. All right, Facebook page, Benjamin Zulu KE. Everywhere else, Benjamin Zulu KE. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and also email benjaminzuluke at gmail.com. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here and uh, for that discussion. Thank you to all of you who've sent in your SMSs. I trust we've gotten through as many of them as we can. And uh, with that said, we're going to take a break now as we get ready for our final segment. We're going to have a jazz saxophonist uh, joining us in studio. Maybe you've been a cheater and you need to apologize. You should stay tuned for his contacts that you can go and surprise your babe, your lady afterwards. Okay, double two triple nine is the SMS line. We'll be back after this. <laughs> 